Let's hit it. Hey guys, so welcome back to Judgment. Let's carry on where we left off. We're stumbling out of the casino after meeting with Mafuyu. Of course, the more things change, the more things stay the same. We've got a real estate plot conspiracy. Particularly, the uh, Hajiwara group trying to gain control of the ADDC. It's, pardon me. You know, I'll get there eventually. Hopefully I don't walk into the freaking pool of water here and get devoured by piranhas or something. Let's uh, make our way up the stairs slowly. We're heading to the Hashki murder crime scene where he got beat the fuck up by Raincoat Man, of all people. Kaito thinks he is a professional killer. Uh, 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 uh that wasn't me. Uh, that wasn't me. Oh god, I can't get out. I can't get out. Kaito, what have I done? I'm drunk off my face. This did not happen. Okay, alright, get out of the way. Ugh. Oh, I thought we were trapped in there forever. If there's a zombie apocalypse in Kamurocho, you know where we need to barricade ourselves. Dirty iron. <laughs> cool. Okay, crime scene. Let's go. Got him all frazzled now. Oh, God, Kaito, please. We've done enough destruction. Okay, so this is the alley here. It's a familiar one, I feel. Kaito-san, mind playing the part of Hashki? Go on. Not. He was round here, yeah? Yep. Lying dead. Or, How's sorry, this? not dead. Knocked wow. out. Wow. He looks so lifeless. You could get a job doing this. <laughs> oh, shut up. Just rename yourself John okay, Doe or something. So, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat. Not even in the alley. After which found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street. Meaning Hashki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. Hmm. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hashki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Isolated? Just a hunch. An alleyway? Big Mr. Detective. Nothing good comes out of alleyways at anyway, night. Anyway, <sighs> I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. Oh, man. You're gonna have to do yeah, laundry right. after lying in that gutter. <sighs> Nothing here. Fair enough. It has been a while. We're heading to Queen Rouge, or Rogue as some people may pronounce it, because that's how a lot of people seem to misspell it for some reason. Come on, it's just around the corner. It's not too far away. Of course, we can't go without our stretchy rubber. Make sure we've got that in our pocket for, you know, a contingency of sorts. Oh, why am I bad? It's down here. <laughs> Not upstairs. <Queen> Rouge. <laughs> so even stuffy, honest scientists come to places like this. Honest scientists, you say? Hashki wasn't exactly honest. Or a scientist. <laughs> I was on Kajihira's payroll, remember? Looks like they're not open yet. Hope someone's in there. Hopefully. We can get some monsters before they open up. Let's go. Uh, make sure you put some cologne on or something. Kaito, you didn't just lie down Hello? in the middle of an alleyway. Is anyone here? Don't want whoever it is thinking we're homeless bums. We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Members oh, only? uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. <laughs> hushki son. Yeah. He did. Sorry, I've never heard of him. Posthumous. All recommendations must come from a current member. I'm not gonna let this guy play dumb with me. You took like 10 seconds to answer that question, almost like you were internally debating whether you should reveal that information or not. You know Hashiki-san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. I suppose he's not a current member, technically, Who then. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. Private. We're private investigators. Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. Cameras or you anything of the sort? Working here, yeah? True. If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashki-san. Get out of my face. I have no obligation to help you. It would be nice. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. You're really gonna send us on a Let fetch quest? Let though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt on a recommendation. Then get out of my face. Ugh, can't afford to waste time with this crap. 
Hold on. You guys are recruiting? No, no, I'm not dressing up. And? <laughs> Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Oh, no. Hmm. Well, she's not bad. Kaito, don't I pull guess. a Hattori, please. There's no need not for this. Bad. <laughs> not bad. You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Salting my girl like that. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. And you somehow passed muster? there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some charm, you know? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. I'm gonna tell her this was your you idea. You a better way, be my guest. All Mafuyu's gotta do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshiki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. <laughs> Huh. It keeps the phone case. held up the entire How about time. Her? Oh, <laughs> sorry, son. She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Muffa you did. Who else do we got? Are we just gonna go through our entire roster of women we know? What about my whoa, landlady? Whoa, who's that? Now there's a girl I want to see. Huh? huh? Really? That photos not doing her any favors, but I polish mean, her up and she'll shine like a diamond. That shouldn't sound so surprised. Trust She's pretty in her own right. See what I mean? Even Hoshino-kun's got the hots for her. She's got this Seriously? air of mystery about her, you know? You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. Okay. I think we can manage that. Come on, talk. Okay. Uh, see you later. You I'll naive moron. You really think we're gonna let her work at your place huh? for more than a night? <laughs> okay. Queen Rouge, done. Well, looks like we're sending Sauri sign in there. Can't wait to see how she reacts to this. Way. Easier said than done. How are we even gonna get her on board? I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. Ugh, easy for you, you to say. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're gonna need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. Well, oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? <laughs> this is all you, buddy. No, no, this is all you. It you brought your it up. idea, jackass. Oh, I need to get her another cake. And make sure it doesn't get stolen this time. The dessert to crush all others? I thought the ones before were damn good, though. Maybe I should ask for some help. Who could I ask that would know where to find a killer dessert in Kamaroja? No pun intended. We could ask Sari herself. <laughs> I'm asking Sari san herself would be the quickest way. Though I'm sure she'd just get suspicious if I did that. Can't talk to her about it until I actually have the dessert in question. But who else would be able to help? She'd be suspicious the moment I give her a nice cheesecake, you know that, right? Uh, let's ask... I mean, Tsuko was probably our correct answer. Or maybe Mafuyu would know, since they're friends. Let's ask Ayabe, though. I wonder if Ayabe knows the place. Though, with how much time he spends at Tender, he probably knows more about booze than bakeries. Either way, Kuroi has got him on lockdown right now. Wouldn't be very smart to be seen together. But who else would be able to help? Yeah, he'd probably just recommend some, like, Midori or something. Uh, let's ask Mafuyu. Bet Mafuyu would know what kind of sweet Sarisan likes. I don't know how I'd even begin to explain it to her, though. Putting her friend in danger. I she got that file for us, too. I don't want to saddle her with more of this. But who else would be able to help? The one and only Tsukumo. You can Google it right quick. Bet Tsukumo could find something really easily. Hey, that's a good idea. I could have him do another search for me. Just gotta give him a call. All right. Come on, Tsukumo. How's it going, Yagamishi? There's something I need help finding. And it's not a bomb this time. What is it this time. I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Uh, it's oh, worth yeah. a try. Guys still do it, and girls still eat it up. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> of hey, course it does to you. Search. <laughs> Hit me with some keywords. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Man. Give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. For a private detective, I feel helpless. Like I can't Google anything by myself. Hundreds of hits, too many. I have to like hire like Tsukumo to do the searches for so me. Much for like I'm some kind of boomer. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Okay, something that Sari san would die for. What words would get me closer? Sari herself. 
her own name. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Incredible. You narrowed it down to one result. Really? Nice. Okay. Wait, this is Hoshino's account. This is what he posts about? <laughs> Eight hours ago. Oh, uh, this one isn't gonna work. Let's try a different word. I mean, I'm surprised, actually, that we got pretty close. Imagine if someone just said, like... Or if we saw Sari's account herself saying what she liked. Uh, what's matcha? Open? Red bean? Uh, let's go for matcha. Nope. Barely made a dent. Guess the whole country's dying for matcha. I, I suppose it's so. The damn flavor anyone makes. <laughs> well, looks like that's out of the question. Let's, uh, try something else. Okay. Alright, you know what? Open. Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> I need to make sure the shop is open. Uh, smart. Smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I see, I mean, uh, she red can bean mochi. dessert from a store that just opened. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah. Let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. Limited mochi. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takemitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Perfect. I'll head over there now. All right. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Look, I'm not going to give I up, okay? Get moving, then. I got to run. I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. <laughs> Good luck, Yagamishi. Oh, yeah, she's very gotta lucky. Run, Sukumo. Thanks again. She's going to be counting her lucky, lucky stars. <laughs> the moment I give her the, the mission. Okay. Well, we better get moving. Like you said, get sweets for the bribe. Oh, well, there's uh, quite a few people we can talk to. Everyone raves about this place online. We're so lucky they opened a branch here in Kamurocho. That's good. You seem very excited. What about you, good sir? How about it? Some kind of famous sweet shop, huh? No line, though. Guess they're sold out. No, don't tell me that. I ran all this way. Damn it. No cues. Ugh. By the time I get these sweets, I better have sobered up at the very least. Man, only one per person? Huh. Guess I can't complain. At least I got one. Okay, I'll make a deal. Unless you ate it already, in which case, maybe, maybe not. Oh. Uh-oh. I see what's going on here. Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you got to follow the rules. Really? I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. No, no, it's nothing to do with we paperwork. We don't care a shit about your documents. This is about knowing your place. Uh, you, you don't mean uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. You're going to have a Tojo license to run things in Gamorocho. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? If you're not buying anything. Who the anything. hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. Uh, uh, uh well, uh, uh this ain't a joke, <laughs> music building We're up in here. You better beat it before this gets ugly. Oh, it's already ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? <laughs> we'll think again. Hardly a civilian. Come on. I barely count. Let's wreck this shithead. Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here. Okay, well, it's only two of you. Though I suppose you do have a knife. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> Already destroyed. Thank you, Matsuo, for stopping by. Don't mind if I jump the queue. Ugh. So, at least now he knows how things really go down in Kamurocho. Catch! Should have just grabbed a mochi, buddy. One per person. Well. Dude, what the shit? <laughs> Leave now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. You guys are suck. He should be paying me protection money. After that. Thank you so much, or sir. Protection sweets. Oh, that? that was nothing. Protection mochi? As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. 
Uh, my apologies, sir. You... We're all sold out for today. Son of a bitch. Sold out? Ah, oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, oh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Oh, now you got one, huh? In the back? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Thank you. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I, I insist. Oh, but you don't really? mind if I do. Well, I guess if you don't mind. <laughs> Cheers. Limited Warabi Mochi. Well, uh, I should be going. Thank you again, sir. You're all good. Keep out of trouble now. Finally found the perfect gift for Sari son. Just gotta head to Genda's now. Genda should be at the office. He's been mysteriously missing these past couple of days. I'm kind of worried about him. He's been relegated to just reading out some uh, some text during the previously segments. Hopefully he's still alive and kicking. I hate to see Genda with his eyes gouged out too. Okay, we've almost worked out all of the alcohol from our system. That's good news. Sorry, San won't think that we're coming to her with a drunken plan. Maybe you guys can help me shake off the wrist. Oh, I see Genda. Hmm? He's got glasses Genda on. Sensei. How do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. I oh, feel sorry, son. I got you this. Looky here. Uh uh uh. Do something for me first, okay? <laughs> Yoga me. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to sorry, son, real quick? She's about to devour those sweets. This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Okay. Take a seat. I really insist I speak with Sari first. Hey! Genda Sensei wants to speak to you. Okay, well, don't eat them just yet, okay? Oh, Shino, I see what you've been tweeting, buddy. Okay? Keep it to yourself, please. Hey there, Yagami-san. Take a seat. God, what are you, the receptionist? <laughs> Giving me orders. Sit down. I've got business with you. Why do I feel like I'm in trouble? Is it because... Shintani was found in my closet. Nervous. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. About what? Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off. But you went and dug even deeper. Y yeah Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Oh. I don't mean she to endanger his life. practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone, too, and I'm just forcing down food. Poor guy. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? I mean, it's easy to see, you know, like, oh, Shitani was an asshole, nobody really liked him. And it's weird seeing, like, you know, Sari and Hoshino not really mourning... His death, I guess. I suppose, well, like I said, he was an asshole, so I guess they didn't take it as hard as Genda, for example. But I appreciate that Genda's actually taking time off, and he's going through the mourning process, because he was close with Shintani. Like he said, he was a father to him. Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? Of course it is. This is just one case. Once it's solved... It's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? The danger will pass. One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Too Every true. Every single person in Camarocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting. Even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Damn. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? I'd say that's more of a bonus. I really want to catch yes. the mole. Avenging Shintani is part of it. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. 
I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. I appreciate the support. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Okay, is Sari is Sari at my disposal One too? Condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. Right. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Sari-san. Just, just a little help. Sauricoon? Hmm? Just a tiny bit. Okay. <laughs> Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. How do you feel about being a hostess? Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Sauri-san. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? I fought for that mochi. Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Yeah. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. Oof. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> It'll be fun, wow. Sauri-san. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. She's about to gouge your, your no. eyes out with daggers. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. <laughs> no. <laughs> extreme makeovers? Kendra, you're not helping my case here, buddy. Okay? Jeez, how the hell did you ever win in court? This is a terrible persuasive argument. I can't imagine you swaying any jury at all. Maybe this is a lost cause. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. Uh, unlimited supply. Bottomless. No. Uh -oh. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Uh -huh. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. Hoshino, what are you planning? What do you mean, not that serious? Huh? What do you see when you look at Saori san huh? No, it's not that. It's, she's just clearly not into the idea. Yeah, I don't want to force her to do it. Why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Okay. Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Okay. Sari san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. I mean, yeah, the way they're going about it, stuff's very right, helpful. Sorry, son. If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Oh. Wait, huh? what? Come on, guys. I'll do it. I'll become Orocho's number one hostess. That's I believe what I'm it. talking about. I can't believe okay, these guys are uh, sleeping on poor Sari. Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You it's don't mind shelling pretty. out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Ginda's gotta pick up the tab anyway. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. Ooh. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But Maybe we have to go body cost if she goes to the same store as all the other girls. The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were <laughs> talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the main goal. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's Damn. go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See, I knew you had it Plus, in you. she exudes confidence, man. Huh. That worked out just fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. Well, I'm sure it'll go great. That's what they're, no, we're there for. Son. How could it not? Two thumbs up from Hoshido. All right, come on. Let's help Sari out. All right, none of you guys coming with me? That's fine. I'll Yagami buy the dress San. myself. Yep. The go-to place for Sari San's dress is La Marche over on Showa Street. Oh, it's La That's where all the hostesses in Camarocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. Of course. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Sari San once you've picked a dress out. Of course. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. Of course. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, let's go. I always thought it was Le Marche. Guess, uh, just another mispronunciation on my part. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Let's go. Le Marche, it's on the other side of town. We should probably take a cab. Well, I guess, uh, the cab's gonna have to wait. You can watch me fight, at least. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh! Saved your ass, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I love heat moves in these games. Okay. And stay down. Sorry, please don't get run over. I already saved one guy's life tonight. I don't need to save yours, too. Gendo saved no more corpses. 
Well, here we are. I did get my suit tailored here, after all. Howdy, I'm back. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. Brilliant. Can't believe he's serving me. Oh, we've got the <laughs> cabaret club uh, style menu here. Interesting. Did they just do this for this one part here? Or is there a hidden cabaret minigame somewhere in this game? Well, I wasn't wrong. There is a bodycon dress here, but look, it's legend pure. A dress that's said to have been worn by a legendary Osaka hostess. There's something awe-inspiring about this dress, but it's hard to point out what. I, uh, see we've also got, like, Kana's dress here. The large jewelry on the chest is what makes this dress stand out. Any others I recognize? As much as I'd love to choose Legend Pure because it was worn by Yuki, you know, we can't, we can't mimic the mistress of Cabaret, right? So I figured, you know what? I liked how Kana appeared in Kwame 2, so let's go for her kind of style outfit here. Short sleeve, dress colors, fine. Oh, we can add the other accessories as well. Um, let's keep her glosses off. We can't really see her earrings. Can't change her hairstyle just yet. Necklace. Um, let's just go for brilliance. A watch. Pink to go with the uh, dress. Let's go for a heart ring. Feminine. Uh, pearl bracelet. We gotta have Minion. We need to keep her calm, because who knows what's gonna go down in there. As for nail polish, we can go for uh, pink. We're going very feminine here. Earrings, uh, active hearts. Why not? Do we need to put glasses on her? No, I think we're fine. Done. Yes. Let's see how it turns out. How's it out. going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. Fair enough. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Better not tell Mafia. Mafia you. won't be happy about that. <laughs> she wouldn't, no. Sorry, son. You've known Mafia you since you were a kid, right? Yes. We were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. Mafia's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. It's not nice. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafi was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. <laughs> she didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Hmm. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. What's but ultimately, with... protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. What's up with kids d d deciding Sorry, they want to become a lawyer I'm in school? I'm not normally this talkative. Because they got defeated Everyone by someone. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafia looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Oh? Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafia but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Oof. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafiu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafiu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. At least they managed to catch the person. the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. They've he really fallen from grace since in then. place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafia's first love. Mm. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafia's boss now. <laughs> Mori Tassan. Even though she was just a kid. Huh? Yep, I remember. That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. <laughs> Do you remember when well. I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. Yagami's currently into the younger ladies. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafia to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Oh. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm the <laughs> Does rebound. It surprise you? 
Uh, I like you more now. Actually, I think I'm falling for you now, Sally. So <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Wait, what? Nothing. Where is this coming from? Nothing, nothing. If this is a joke, Yagami-san, you have terrible I time. wasn't, I, I just wanted... <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. I just meant like, you know... What an ass. Never mind. Anyway, I can't I'm save changing. this. <laughs> it's hmm? too far gone. Well, well. Huh. Not bad. You think? Yeah. You said you were oh, gonna be on. number one, right? Let me get a picture. Huh? It's for Hoshino and for the office. Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry, Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Plus word public. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. That's right. That's why I couldn't access those options. And speak of the devil. God, he is quick. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Were you design. sitting on your phone this entire time? as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. You should have done this all yourself. Uh, so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it. Thanks. Okay. Makeover time. Wasn't wrong, it's just around the corner. Hair Salon Cherry. This is the place Hoshino could mention. Okay, well, let's head on up. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today? Uh, not for me, it's for Sari, actually. Okay, hairstyle. Um, honestly, I like her hair, but it does cover her eyes, which is not ideal. What do we choose? Just a, uh, a high ponytail, perhaps? God damn. This is... This is cabaret for you. I spent all my time trying to make the perfect... The perfect look. Hmm, you know what? Perhaps we go with the Koyuki slash uh, Makoto Nijima braided bob cut, huh? We'll keep the dark hair. As for makeup, let's try not to put too much on. I'm starting with her brows. Let's thin them up a bit. Eyelashes, nice and long, of course. Damn, all these shades of lipstick are really strong. Uh, let's go for a muted pink, perhaps. That'll do, I think. Not too bad, I reckon. It's always nerve-wracking trying to dress up a girl myself, because you guys are going to be like, Ew, is that what he thinks is pretty? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, yes. Let's go with that. Oh, so this is Whoa. wax taste, huh? You look better than I expected. Yagami, you didn't stare like that. Not helping. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge. All right. Let's uh, let's, let's go. Oh, we're in control of Sari right now. First person, even. In case we get into a fight. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Oh God. <laughs> Jeez. This is what it's like playing as a, a female in Kamurocho, huh? Oh, she's a knockout! You're about to get knocked out, buddy. <laughs> I'll knock you out! <laughs> oh, no! I meant a dress. Just a dress. J just a dress. Oh, well, at least I chose the right dress, then. Okay, this Barker's probably gonna come after me, too. Sorry, I already got a destination hey, in mind. Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Damn. So, not only are they trying to get customers in, they're also trying to recruit girls off the street. Yeah, I can be just staying real close to you. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Well, come on then. Oh, well, um. We're here. <sighs> okay, let's go. Hopefully, he's still uh, willing to take me in. Queen yes, Rouge. come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's yep. the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to shine. Oh? Damn, sorry. 
That entrance, though, she's killing it. <clears throat> Holy shit. <laughs> did I do good or did I do? I think I did good. This I think she looks stunning. Sorry, Shirosaki san. Ah. Uh. Uh, you have the job. <laughs> yeah, she she You're definitely looks like, like she's freaking angel. A natural. Come work for us, please. <laughs> I'm sure, Saki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up. I soon also enough. like her stern no, talking to. She's perfect. I'm loving that. I don't care vibe. Right? Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Uh, right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. Knock him out. We just have to figure out what Hashkin Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. If you don't figure it out, okay. we're coming back tomorrow. I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Nice. Damn. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. She's like a secret agent. <laughs> you know, going undercover. Got my Bluetooth earpiece on. Not suspicious. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Huh. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. Wait, who's greeting We're at the door? We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Hmm. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun, and toss out tons of compliments. Fake it till you so make. I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? You don't need a oh, beg. Yeah. These guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub off on them. Though I... I'm not doing that. I can see some girls Either doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. That's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> no promises. I'm not really here to score brownie points as a hostess. This is still an investigation. I have to find the girl who was with Hashki without blowing my cover. It may not be easy, but I can do this. If they need this info, then I'll get it. Okay, it's almost time for opening. We'll be starting on the floor, Sauri san Good luck. Okay, I'll give it my best shot. Normally I'm the manager. Now I'm Hi, one of the grunts I'm on the ground floor. Hiya, I'm Mika. The name's Sari. Hiya, I'm Sari. Sorry. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> expecting such enthusiasm. Oh. oh, well. Come, take a seat. I read the hint at the last second Don't seconds is a classy club. <laughs> and so, bloody, as the young blood goes straight in the company, into, I was over called excited. on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. I suppose every industry has its share of problems. Hmm. Is she okay? She looks dead inside. She's totally checked out. Not that I blame her. I'm not especially interested in the sob story either. But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. <laughs> God. Oh, you can tell? She's of course. a monster. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. She's killing it. She's just making things up. That's how it be. <laughs> a feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> 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 that laugh. I suppose anything goes, so long as it's a compliment. Maybe I really can do this. Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumire san. Uh oh. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. But Sumeri's been carrying this table. Oh, no. Now I'm left with Dofty well, in the middle over there. That's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. <laughs> have you ever experienced something like that? Uh, 
Her puppeteer I, um, is uh, is really struggling. Mika's struggling. I need to back her up without killing the mood. I love your tie. Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Oh my god, it's wow, for you in disguise I didn't again. You had such a good eye. <laughs> Maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. She made it here after all. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. <laughs> That's why her eyes look so dull. Her her mask is slipping. Phew. You have to think fast if you want to succeed as a hostess. Kind of, yeah. Well, we made it. Kind of. One miss out of two. Those businessmen finally went home. I was so focused on talking to them that I couldn't focus on the investigation. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Yep. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. I know your true identity. You really have what it takes, Saori-san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? Hmm. At least I'm better now than I was back then. Well, you'll have a good memory. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time, a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... He died. He died what? receiving the you worst probably service. probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. Truly tragic. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. Wow. Right into my lap, huh? But, uh, yeah, like I said, his last venture at a cabaret club, he got you? That is especially sad. Hashiki-san? You mean Hoshki-san from the ADDC? No time to mess around here. Yeah, that's the guy. You knew him? I need answers. The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. I poured the drinks Hoshki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. No, it's not your fault. There are greater machinations at work. So Mika-san was the one serving Hoshki-san. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I, I know I yeah. should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. Damn it. <laughs> be right there. Okay, well, I mean... Sorry, that got kind of dark, huh? At least we'll be friends after this shift, right? We can talk on the phone. So long as she keeps her eyes, I need to hear more of what Mika-san has to say. It didn't sound like a very good experience for her, though. I could upset her if I pry too much. What should I do? That's, just, that's so sorry, so it's just like, mentally calculate, mm, if I pry too much, I won't be able to get the answers I need. But I need to get the answers, so I need to come up with a different solution. Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now. I need to make her trust me somehow. That means I gotta look out for her, make sure she uh, boosts her sales numbers tonight. Just the one customer. Hmm? His glass is empty. Urge him to order another. Uh, give Mika a sign. Eyes up, Mika. Correct, consec consecutive correct bonus, sorry, I should say. We need her to get her sales numbers up. You're running low. How about another drink? Huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. Is this your first time at a cabaret club? Phew, it worked. Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Why oh, are you even here then? Really? This is my chance. Time to step in. Uh, Get close to him. Sweet talk. Ooh, what do we do? Let's uh, let's sweet talk. Ah, oh, damn it! Kind of thirsty. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, we're Come really on. <laughs> Do it for us. Uh, I'm thirsty. I'm dying over here. Um, All right. Give me your finest booze. All right, there Yay, we go. Hey, you are the best. Fresh bottle coming right up. I'm just acting. I'm just acting. I thought, you know what, if I get close, he's gonna turn his attention to me instead of Mika. You know what I mean? You're incredible, sorry son. I've never seen numbers that high before. All you had to do was Don't ask him for me. another freaking drink. That was all you, Mika-san. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. Sounds good. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually, I know just the spot. Wanna go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mika-san. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Of course we do. This is a long night. We're not FaceTiming. Hello, Yagami san? Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with a girl who served Hoshki six months ago. <laughs> We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? <laughs> Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Ooh. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. Oh, let's see things from Yagami's point of view, shall we? This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashkin and Shona were talking about. So a fantastic chapter. Now. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. All right. Damn. I'm really liking the presentation here. We're uh, exploring things through Sari's point of view, and now we're back to Yagami. Hello? God, Oshino. Oshino-kun? Sari-san made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze Don't tell at. me you're gonna pay it a visit. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sari-san to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, we'll do. It's okay. I caught the bomber. Guess I'll wander a bit. Hmm? Who's this from? Oh, you're kidding me. The Cahen gang? Crap, what do I do? Is this what happened? This is it? I just had run-ins with the Cahen gang? Nothing violent? Okay, well, I suppose we should collect some debts as well while we're at it.